Hello, happy crafters. I'm coming on today with a different kind of project share. Um, when my husband and I went to Staples because I wanted to get six and a half by nine envelopes for um, the ugly paper with uh, my scrapbook cloth. So I found the, the wider envelopes, which I was happy about. And then I found these folders. Now it's gonna be glary, I'm sorry. But these folders are, let's see if I have the dimensions. Nine, nine and a half by a little over 11 and a half. And these were like a, a dollar and a quarter. And I love all the different colors. You know, I'm a purple and a pink girl. And I got these for some crisp. Christmas projects. So I wanted to show you what I did with these. Now there is somebody that is near and dear to my heart and she constantly is sending me things at Happy Mail and just, you know, she takes the time to think about me. Well, I've sent her a card or two, but you know, nothing, nothing fantastic. So I thought I would take this envelope. Now this isn't tied because I wanted to show you inside and show you what it looks like. Now, yes, it's bulky, but it's gonna go in a big padded envelope and this is not tied on there because she's a lace girl and she can use the lace. So I don't know if I can get this all in frame. Speaking of being in frame, I need some suggestions for some good lighting. My lighting in here is just horrible. So I don't know if you could see, but I have um, a rosette here, the word grateful, and then another rosette over here and the word thankful. And I have some more lace in here. And I got this beautiful paper pack from Stamperia. And it's a lot of fussy cutting and things. And I'm like, no, I bought this and I thought about somebody very special. so. I didn't fussy cut, I just put all the cutter parts in here for her. And then this is all the paper, which I'm not gonna show you, you've all seen Stamperia paper. But it's beautiful paper. And this so reminds me of her. Um, so I hope she likes this. And then this is big enough for her to make several cards or several crafts with it. And then over here, I made some bows. And these are just put on with glue dots, so are these, so that she can take them off and use them. And then I did use the paper to make the card and to make an envelope. I'm not gonna show you the card. She can show it in case she's watching. And then I did make a um, memory decks card also. I mean, the paper is beautiful. It's just really beautiful. And I just have this doily in the back because I know she likes doilies. So I thought that was a very interesting way to send some happy mail to somebody. Um, like I said, this is really bulky, so you know you're gonna pay extra for shipping. But some people, you know, they're just worth it to have the extra. <laughs> So I hope you all have a good day. I'm not sure, oh, tomorrow's no paper left behind. I'm not sure if I'll be on tomorrow. I will try to be. Um, today, my husband is uh, working on a lot of projects and I'm doing laundry and things. So I'm gonna catch up on all of your videos because I'm behind and I don't like being behind. So I hope, oh, happy Halloween. I forgot to say happy Halloween. We're not participating this year. I don't, I'm at high risk for COVID, so I'm not opening my door. And our neighborhood is having Halloween. And um, no, you know, I don't know how the kids are gonna do that, but I hope they have fun, but I certainly hope that they are very safe. So happy Halloween. Please leave in the comments how I can 
fix my lighting. I don't like it. It's shadows. I don't know if my desk is big enough to hold an art light. I've heard good things about art lights. So I'm calling on all my crafty friends to help me. Hope you find something to laugh about today. I hope you find something that brings you joy. And you know, I'm sending you big, big hugs.